What's up guys, it's Esteban here again, bringing you another daily walkthrough tutorial of Dark Souls. Uh, first off, let's see what we're going to be getting. We're going to be getting the Zweihander, the Blue Tear Stone Ring, and Havel's Ring. So we're just gonna go through the cemetery here, take out these skeletons. Now at the beginning these guys are actually pretty hard, I mean even for me, you're gonna see me fail a couple of times with the uh, pairings. Die. Alright. Gonna take a chug. We're gonna be on our way. Alright, so what we're going to do right here is take another chug, just in case. We're going to drop our Elite Knight Armor uh, chest plate just to lighten our load, because once we pick up the Zweihanda, uh you just want to get the hell out of there. I mean, you got this big giant skeleton, and you got like three other ones, so I don't recommend taking them on. So just run your ass back to the bonfire, and you'll be safe. And if you get lucky like I did, maybe some of them will suicide. I got a couple of souls there just for running away. <laughs> right, let's head back to the bonfire, put back our Elite Knight armor, and check out this baby. Yes, of course we're not going to be able to wield it. I think you need about 25 strength to wield it correctly. It's pretty much useless for us right now, but... It still looks badass. Alright, we're gonna put that away. We're gonna re-equip our Stora straight sword. Alright, so we're gonna make our way to the Undead Burge. And I'm gonna fail miserably at a lot of parries at this point. It was kinda like an off day for me for some reason. I mean, normally under regular circumstances, I don't know what it was, I just I just kept failing on the parries. It's like, what is wrong with me? Screw that guy. Extreme close-up, backstab. I really like to two-hand my weapon and just like, wham! Right when this guy tries to do a plunge attack. Some of you are probably noticing I'm not picking up some items, uh, every item that I see. That's only because, not because they're not important, but, you know, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not gonna, you know, really uh, take the time and pick up every item I see just because um, I really won't need it in the end. I totally forgot this dude throws bombs, so it's like, oh, 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 got lucky there. So, I actually had a theory about these fog doors in Dark Souls. Lordran is sort of like an area where time is not linear. Uh, it's sort of like in a compression, because, you know, you end up meeting characters or enemies that are supposedly died long ago, but you're facing them now.
So I'm going to show you guys where you can find the merchant here in the Undead Burge. Uh, you pretty much just uh, head over here, right where these two spear guys are at. Uh, you don't have to fight them, just roll into the crates right next to you and uh, just go down the stairs. There is a hollow soldier hiding behind a couple of wooden cabinets with an axe, so uh, definitely take him out before moving on. And the interesting thing about the male merchant is that if you kill him, uh, you actually do get the Uchigantana, which is a really cool weapon to have, but it does have low durability. It's got like 90 points, so... Um, it's not really an effective weapon, especially if you're planning on using it for the long haul. Uh, he also drops like the wet soap uh, stone and the residence key, but since you have the master key, you really don't need that. And this wasn't on the list, but I figured I'd get it anyway, the windshield. It actually doesn't have very high stats, uh, but I figure some people might like it. It looks kind of cool. Okay, so we're just going to take off our uh, chest plate again to uh, lighten our load, make our way across the bridge, and jump down to pick up the blue tear stone ring. Oh yeah, and watch out for the uh, Black Knight. Yeah, screw you too, buddy. What can I say about Havel? He's a quiet man. A solitary man. A man that likes to beat the crap out of you with a giant dragon tooth. I caught bullshit on that last one. It's like he hit me in the foot or something. Alright, lucky number seven. Let's do this. Alright, so here are some tips on um, fighting Havel. Basically, quick roll to the left, use plunge attacks, and when available, backstab. Sometimes I roll to the right, that's only because you have to be aware of your surroundings when fighting Havel here, because you can really get trapped around a corner wall or next to the stairs, and once that happens, I mean, you're pretty much screwed. But ideally, what I've found to be the more, most successful is if you see him getting ready for a, for a two-hand attack like that, you know, roll to the left, go behind him, backstab, I rolled there like a boss and backstabbed him. This uh, definitely will take you guys a couple of try. I mean, this is the first time I ever tried attempting to fight Havel right at the start of the game without any additional weapons or techniques or anything like that. The first time I fought him, I actually killed him simply just uh, with pyromancy because my pyromancy skills were so high. You know, it's kind of funny, this reminds me of when Spock and Kirk had to do battle in the circle of death. Only we're not friends. We're, we're enemies. I'm gonna get you, Spock. I'm gonna kill you.
and bam. Successfully defeated Havel the Rock. Picked up the Havel's ring. And now you can move freely in your Elite Knight armor. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Please subscribe.